on some new concepts in intuitionistic fuzzy sets. Well, uh, at first we must say that this video is almost entirely based on the paper by Anna Malai, so you should look at a bibliography. And the vast majority of, uh, of symbols, of notation, of definitions uh, has been taken directly from him. Well, let us start from the definition of fuzzy sets. Fuzzy sets, as maybe you know, they were introduced by Lord Fizadeh more than more than 50 years ago. And a fuzzy set A in a space S or a universe S or domain of discourse may be defined as a non-empty set of the following form. As you can see, for any element of our universe, we define uh we evaluate me a me a of e yes this is a function of membership membership function uh if its value is zero then it means that our element does not belong to a if it's one then it means that it belongs to a totally and if it's uh, some medium value between it, zero and one then it means that then it describes uh, partial membership, yes. And this idea um, has been developed by Atanasov from Bulgaria later. Um, he introduced intuitionistic fuzzy sets, and such set is defined as an object of this form. As you can see, now we have two functions, me, b, uh, and pi, b. And there are membership and non-membership functions, respectively. But we assume that um, even if there are some, uh, some of their values for any e should be greater or equal than zero and lesser or equal than one, then uh, it still may be lesser than one, uh, which means that we have a kind of uh, hesitation margin. Yes, one minus p minus me and uh, this idea is present here in uh, in the concept of anomaly uh, i wouldn't say that his concept is very original or entirely new but be yes it may let us call his sets intuitionistic fuzzy sets with hesitation function i f s j as you can see, now uh, we have three functions. Well, uh, me is a membership function, new is a non-membership function, and our pi here becomes a hesitation function. And of course, they now they sum up to one, and each of them has values between 0 and 1, including maybe 0 and 1. So we may, uh, we may describe each intuitionistic fuzzy set with hesitation function in the following way, as a collection of all um, of the triples, mi, pi, nu, for any ei in S. So, uh, so each um, each element of f uh, describes us um, grade or level of membership, non-membership, and hesitation for any element of our domain of discourse. Membership in f and non-membership in f, of course. Um, we may compare these elements. At this moment, we do not compare. Um, intuitionistic fuzzy sets with hesitation, but as you can see here, we compare these elements. We say that ti, triple ti, is lesser or equal than tj if membership of i is lesser or equal to membership of j, uh, non-membership of i is greater or equal than non-membership of j, and here we may have arbitrary situation, as you can see here. Uh, on the other hand, uh, such two elements are equal, if and only if, of course, all these functions have uh, the same values for 
uh, for this EI in S, as we can see here. And then we may compare sets. If we have two intuitionistic phase sets with hesitation function, namely M and N, and they are defined in the same universe S, then we say that one uh, M is contained in N, if and only if each of its elements is lesser or equal than each of uh, than the corresponding element of uh, of n, as it's written here, and of course these two sets are identical if m i is just like n i for any m i in m and n i in n. Well, and perhaps it's not difficult to find some practical examples and some applications of these sets, of course. And uh, Anamalai gives us only one about weather, or in fact about temperature, which may be cold. And this is membership, warm, this is hesitation, or it may be hot. But this is non-membership. And here you have our references, our bibliography. This is Anamalai's paper. This is the seminal paper of Atanasov about intuitionistic fuzzy sets. And uh, here we have a kind of survey or overview on intuitionistic fuzzy sets by Ejegua, Akoe, Otena, and Dekula. And you may find the whole video based on their survey, on their paper, uh, somewhere on my YouTube channel. So thank you very much for your attention.